Hey everybody, this is Franco, and today I'm going to tell you about the CWP-4 wireless MPG from Centroid. I just got this thing, I really like it, I'm excited about it, and I want to tell you guys about it in case you're looking for a good wireless MPG. Uh, so first of all, as I mentioned, this thing is wireless, so there's no cables on this thing. It talks to the PC through this wireless receiver which is pretty sweet. It just plugs right into your USB port. It's plug and play and it works. There's no software to install to make this receiver work. So it's a slam dunk. You just plug it in and it goes. The uh, configuration of this is all done through the setup wizard. Uh, once again, there's no software, there's no drivers to install. You literally just open up the setup wizard and you tell it that you have the wireless MPG and it just works. The next time you launch CNC 12, it'll, it's just there, it just works. Uh, all the basic features that you would imagine on any wireless MPG. So, you know, you can select which axis you want to jog. You can select the, uh, the rate at which you want to generate the pulses. So we'll, we'll just put it at 10x. I'll pick x axis. There you go. It's jogging away. And of course, you can pick the rate at which it jogs. So you have 100x, which is quite fast. You have 1x, which naturally is very slow. Uh, in addition to using the pulse generator, you can also use the jog buttons. So if you put this thing, now I have my control set in incremental mode right now. So when I, when I press a button, I'm only getting one incremental move. If I put it in continuous mode, now I'm going to get continuous motion from these buttons. So that's pretty cool. You know, if you're touching off and you want to get really close, you can put this thing on 1x. You can go into incremental mode, and then you literally just have, you know, you can move one, whatever your smallest programmed increment is when you set up your wizard. I have mine set to 1,000, so jogging at 1,000 at a time. Now, other things you can notice on the controller, it has a digital, or the MPG, it has a digital display on it. So as you're jogging, it's actually updating the, the position. So that's pretty cool because you might be um, working on your machine somewhere. Like, for instance, you may be over here and uh, you might be jogging around trying to touch something off or see where you're at. You, you can't see your computer, but you can still see the position data on the display. So that's a really neat feature. I really like that. Also, a side point, this thing is magnetic. So wherever you put it, it's going to stay put. That's kind of nice too. Um, it's really annoying when you have a pendant and it slides off your table and hits the floor. Uh, so this is magnetic. It's not going to do that. And uh, as far as the other buttons on it, you know, you have your, the big red button, you have feed hold, you have cycle start, we already talked about jog, you have some buttons to control the spindle. I do not have spindle control on my mill, so I'm not going to talk about that. You have your tool check button, which if you're used to Centroid, you know what tool check does. Wherever your tool's at, it just takes it all the way up to the clearance point in the Z-axis. You have this equal zero button. So when you're setting up your WPCs, you just press that button, it'll zero out your WPCs. Really cool feature. Also have another neat thing that you can do. So let's, let's put it into feed mode. So I'm gonna use this MPG to actually control the feed rate. So I have a little program in here right now. Uh, I'm gonna start the program with, I'm gonna use cycle start on the MPG. So I'm gonna use the MPG to control the feed rate. So that's kind of a neat feature too. While you're working on your machine, you know, you're proving out your program, you may, uh, you may want to adjust your feed rate like while you're heading into an arc or into a, a pocket or something like that. You can do all that from the MPG. Really nice feature. And you'll notice it's very responsive. There's no buffering, there's no lagging. When you hit a button, it's instantaneous. Very fast response. 
other cool thing about this is these macro buttons. So these are programmable macro buttons and they give you four of them. So I'm going to just press number four and watch the screen. Right now that macro button's not programmed, but it pops up with a message, it tells you what it is and how to use it. And uh, it's really pretty simple. You just pull these uh, files up out of your, uh, whatever directory you've installed your Centroid software into, you just pull this file up and you edit it and it does what you want it to do. So I've done a really simple one. I've programmed a macro uh, on button number one and all I'm gonna do with it is use it to basically jog my machine to one of my pre-programmed clearance points. So just demonstrate that. So you can, right over here, I'm gonna press macro button number one. So that's what my macro button number one does. You could program it to do uh, whatever you'd like. Um, and I'm sure as time goes by, I'll program the other three buttons, but I just wanted to throw something on macro button number one just to give you a flavor of what it's doing. And uh, it was like super easy. So there you go. This is a very heavy duty pendant. It's well made. Uh, it's well put together. You know, there's nothing cheap about this. There's some really inexpensive ones that you can buy on eBay that aren't, aren't quite so good. But I mean, this is heavy duty. I really like it. And it's super easy to install. And the price is right. I think right now you can get this thing for $215. And uh, I think that includes shipping. So this is a real bargain. No drivers to install. It's plug and play. All you have to do is tell the wizard that you have it and it just works. So there you go. I hope you like this video. Um, you guys have fun. I'll catch you later.